Cuff, cuff, cuff. For those of you into crypto and for those of you who have a deep interest in DeFi, well, you will know some of the crazy things that have happened with Curve over the last week. Uh, and today, that's what we're going to cover. So this video is about Curve Finance. Let's get straight to it. Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Wajaha and yeah, just have a look at Curve. Um, for those of you who don't know, Curve Finance is uh, one of the largest uh, decentralized applications in the entirety of crypto. Um, it is uh, an exchange predominantly for stable coins, but uh, it's a fantastic application um, that really has changed DeFi for a whole. Um, they have some innovative tokenomics and because of that, they have really grown significantly. Um, and last week some crazy stuff happened. So uh, to begin with, let's just take a look at Curve as a, as a whole. Um, it's currently ranked number four in terms of all applications um, at the moment with the current TVL of just under, uh, well, three and a half billion really. Um, and its peak, it was, you know, around 20, 23, 24 billion, which is pretty nuts. Anyway, what's happened in the last week? Well, uh, some of the big players uh, in the space uh, some of you will know Avi from Crypt from Twitter. Um, essentially, there was some uh, interesting strategies and one of them involved uh, shorting Curve and this was done by Aave. Uh, and this was done on the uh, 22nd, so uh, not too long ago. Uh, and we could see exactly what happened here where it got shorted significantly and uh, this this kind of short strategy position uh, didn't work too well uh, and uh, within the same day it pumped 50% uh, after. Uh, so th that was pretty interesting to see what happened on that day. Um, for those of you who want to read up uh, about it in more detail, I'll leave a, a link down below to go to Twitter and just have a read about it. But it was really interesting to see uh, how uh, some of these low liquidity markets can be manipulated in somewhat. Uh, in some way shape or form anyway more importantly on the same day we got this this is the uh, kind of white paper or a pdf essentially on the new curve stablecoin crv usd which is a new stablecoin coming to curve um and Michael, the, the founder of Curve, um, has basically written this uh, eight page uh, PDF where he kind of goes over the design of the stablecoin. Um, uh, and it's a pretty a complex uh, read. I think some of the maths that goes into this went completely over my head. So don't ask me to explain it. Look, I'm a doctor, not a mathematician. So I don't really know what's going on here. Uh, but to summarize, essentially, um, you can deposit collateral uh, via Curve, you can mint their native stablecoin, uh, and your collateral will slowly convert to Curve USD as the price of it goes down. So for example, if you supplied Ethereum and borrowed CRV USD against it, if, it, if, if your Ether goes down in value, well, it will be slowly converted uh, to CRV USD. Uh, and uh, vice versa, if Ether goes up in price, um, some of that CRV will be sold back into uh, CRV USD will be converted back into Ether uh, and uh, overall as a whole the threat of liquidation is significantly reduced um, but of course there are fees in this kind of operation there are fees to open up uh, a lending position uh, and you know that will go to the curve holders the, the stakers of curve um, and what is that going to do for, for the price of CRV? Well, I don't know. I have no idea. It could go up, it could go down. Don't ask me about that sort of stuff. What I know is that this is going to increase the usability. Um, it's going to have, we're going to have more options, more strategies, um, better tokenomics. You know, let's see what happens. But I think Curve is a fantastic protocol, uh, something that I use all the time. I mean, uh, I still love their old classic uh, user interface. Um, and, you know, even today, you can get some of the best yields on your stable coins on Curve. I mean, you know, if you want to play relatively safe, you can go for something like the, the three pool or the, or the Frax three curve pool, which, you know, is still offering around 3%. But I mean, if you um, just have a look on Curve, you can really find some stable offerings that are like over 10%. Um, let's just wait for, for this to load. Sometimes takes a little while for the yields to come, but if I scroll down, look, I mean, your risk appetite has to be there, really, because, I mean, you know, I don't really trust USDD too much, but, I mean, if you if you can get this 32% by farming it, I mean, that's incredible. Um, of course, you've got, uh, let's have a look, so we've got um, Alchemix USD around 5%, um, 
if we scroll down i'm sure we'll be able to find look some of the euro stable coins like angle euro um and and of course the euro circle coin six percent that's pretty good um uh, and you know you've got things like mim uh, as well which still offer a pretty pretty attractive yield so uh, of course your risk tolerance has to be there uh, for me i don't have the same risk tolerance as i used to so i'm happy to stick with the ones at the top of here but still Curve is a place to be. Curve is still the place where volume is significant. You know, just look at the volume that we get in the last in the last few days. Incredible volume, a great application, very competent dev team. We've got a new token, a new stablecoin, CRV USD. Let's see what happens with the stablecoin market once that comes out. Uh, and yeah, just a little update on Curve. That's all I've got for you today. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll be back with another video soon.